what SOELA is about. That's what our community and technical college system is about. I've been here numerous times with Dr. Aspinwall. I have delivered a baby on this campus. I have, yeah, that, that's an inside joke, but it was, they, they forced me into service over at one of these uh, nursing labs over here. Uh, I did not drop it, and, uh, uh, but I, I have uh, uh, sampled some of the uh, work of the culinary students here. Uh, we have visited on numerous occasions. Um, and this is all about empowering people to be their best selves so they can support themselves and their families and in turn transform and strengthen communities. And that's what we're doing in Louisiana. We, we have a goal for master education, I'm, I'm sorry, master plan for higher education. And it's critically important. We all have a role to make sure we get there. We want 60% of our working age adults to have a high value credential or degree by 2030, because that's how we're gonna be successful. Uh, and and it's great if you can get uh, those credentials conferred on people while they're still in high school, or at least get them some credits, and then maybe they go to community college or a four-year institution and, and they get a degree or whatever. But I will tell you what also excites me, and I see a lot of this in, in here at Soella, is when people who are 35, 40, 50 years old, because they've already worked one career, and they realize that there's probably a better opportunity out there for them, and they come back. <coughs> and they get the credential that they need or the degree with the, that they need to take advantage of that. And I believe that that's gonna happen here uh, as you confer these very uh, important uh, credentials on people for culinary, hospitality, and gaming. Uh, so we, we all have a responsibility to help meet uh, our objectives there. And when we do, it will absolutely uh, transform our state as a whole. Uh, and that's really why we invest in higher education. It's about opportunity. It's about empowering people to, to uh, generate more wealth, to take care of their families. And it's not just about buildings, although you can't do it without buildings. And this is a, a very nice facility and uh, funded through uh, Robert Adley's bill from Act 360 uh, years ago. But that gets you a building. It doesn't give you the money to operate it. Uh, we're investing uh, recurring dollars in operations too. We're doing it at a level that we've never done before in Louisiana. And in this particular instance, it's the Reboot Louisiana program, which is funded through the Higher Ed Initiatives. Um, and I'm just gonna say something to you that is so obvious that, that it probably doesn't need to be said, except that it does. You cannot invest what you do not have. In my first couple of years as governor, we did not have. And we have fixed that problem. And what, and what happened when we didn't have the money is we disinvested in higher education more than any other state in the nation. We put the funding formula on its head. We should have about 70% general support and 30% tuition and fees to run these institutions. We turned it exactly upside down and told these young people 70% of the cost of that is going to come from you. And the state's going to put up 30%. Well, we are doing so much better today because of the hard work that has taken place all around the state, but in Baton Rouge, and a lot of it done by these legislators. So I want to thank all of you uh, for that. This coming year's budget continues the emphasis on higher education. Um, the investment will be at historic highs, including faculty pay raises and increase in formula funding to be distributed uh, throughout the system. In addition, we fully funded TOPS and we will have more GO Grant dollars because their need-based aid for education uh, is also incredibly important for us. And we're gonna tackle more deferred maintenance expenses at our higher ed institutions and we can never cover everything. But we're gonna make sure that we are making progress so that our campuses will, will be even more beautiful. Uh, they will allow students to thrive, and yes, they will be safer. So you can look for us to do things uh, that are targeted enhancing safety on our campuses, including lighting and fencing and cameras and so forth. Um, so I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again, Louisiana's LCTCS system is absolutely one of the best in the country. 
That will only be the case as long as we continue to invest it. And we're going to do that here in Louisiana so long as I have anything uh, to do with it. Uh, I'm proud of the work that we've done. And I am proud that we're going to do more to give even more Louisianans opportunities to succeed. And I want to thank you all for the opportunity to be over here with you.